Member of Parliament Patirtung provided information on the tourism and railroad related draft bills. For 50 years, our country has been transporting cargo across just one road, but now combined public and private railways are in use. For example, a train that took off from the Baltiro River can travel along 110 km of railway lines built by private companies, then enter into Zumbayung and goes towards Tawandalga and Kashansuhat. In this case, three to four railroad sections owned by different companies are part of the road. Officials believe that this should be regulated by law. Major adjustments need to be made to basic structures, such as creating proper competition under free market conditions, creating equal relations and regulating the relations between those basic structures. For the owners of the railway lines, the driving force is divided into two parts, roads and infrastructure. The transport companies will negotiate with the road and infrastructure responsible parties and carry out the transportation. The law on tourism has also been reviewed. Several new concepts such as tourism fund and cross-border tourism have been introduced in this draft law. The main changes are the creation of a special fund. However, the general policy is that the tax policy should come from the government with a unified policy in accordance with the Ministry of Finance. In addition, it is intended to create tourism brand products based on traditional cultural heritage and develop sustainable tourism. The draft bill clearly defines and categorizes tourism service providers.